depths of the wildest sea there is no distance to wide that you won't reach up to the highest of peace into the depths of the wildest sea there is no distance to why that you won't reach bigger than any regret your passion Stronger than even death, mountains may fall or give way, but your mercy will not be swayed. And all I know is this your love endures through. Summit and in valleys.
your perfect love it's pushing away every fear search me and know me a love that knows when I sit when I rise when I hide when I run away a love that knows every thought before I think
sanctify me. You're inside me. You're alive. Reality. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You're my reality, more real than the thoughts in my mind. Breaks me of my weariness. Your truth picks me up. And dusts me off. Oh, your truth. It's your truth that sets me free. It's your truth that defines me. at me in my 
brokenness You see someone that's usable Someone that's lovable Someone Someone to clean up and make whole You don't see You don't see as the world sees me Even as I see myself You see me in my brokenness You see me in my mess and my desperation you say this desperation is a gift and you say this hunger is what drew you into me this desperation is a gift and this hunger is what brought you to your knees in front of me brought you to me oh and I see in front of me someone that's lovable someone that's usable someone that's worth my time Someone that was made in love's image Someone that was fearfully and wonderfully made I see someone That's becoming more and more like my son Your father says your word my time. You're worth my love. You're worth every investment. Surely if you were worth a death on a cross, then what could you not have? Then what would I not give you?
nothing is wasted there's not a single detail that he misses that he wastes every part of your story every part of your story every detail of your life is for his glory every twist and turn Every unfortunate circumstance is for his glory, it's for his glory, and for your goodness. Heart, Lord. 
the truth is so much louder. The truth is so much louder. So open the ears of my spirit. Open the ears of my I may hear that I may know that I may dwell in your truth the truth that conquers death and sin the truth whose name my heart here's every corner of my heart here's my heart Lord I'm not proud of all of it but come speak Come speak what is true. Come make me new again. Come speak what is true. Come make me new. Disappointment. Here is every wrong view I've had of you. Would you take it and speak what's true? Oh Lord, would you take it and speak what's true? what is true speak what is true speak what is true it's the only thing that can set me free it's the only thing that will set me free Speak what is true. Come speak what is true. Come speak what is true. I offer you all my heart, all my heart, all my heart. Come speak what is true. Search me, God, and know my heart. Lay 
you down at your feet I leave it to you to sift through what is truth and what I believe I lay my heart down at your feet I surrender
deepest parts as we lay it all before you at your feet. We pour it out. You fill us up. We pour it out. You fill us up. We pour it out. You fill Speak truth into our hearts. Speak truth into our hearts. Your truth is the only way. The only way. Your truth.
crimson stain upon your robe with every nail with every pounding blow by every stripe and every bruise upon your back I can hear you crying out. You say, Father, I desire that they would be, that they would be with me to see my glory. You took all my shame and my iniquity. sake of freedom you set me free and you made a way for me to enter the stain upon your robe with every nail with every pounding blow by every stripe and every bruise upon your back I can hear you crying out you say Father, I desire that they would be, that they would be with me to see my glory. You took all my shame and my iniquity for the sake of freedom. You set me free.
with every nail and every pounding blow by every stripe and every bruise upon your back I can hear you crying now you say Father I desire that they would be They will be with me to see my glory. Took all my shame and my iniquity. For the sake of freedom, you set me free. You made a way for me. the holy place you made a way for me to enter the holy place oh you made a way for me to enter the the whole
May we be just like a child, staring at the beauty of our King. May we never lose our wonder. May we never lose our wonder. Why did I mystify? May we be just like a child, staring at the beauty of our King. May we never lose our wonder. May we never lose our wonder. Wide-eyed and mystified, may we be like a child staring at the beauty of our King. May we never lose our wonder. King Jesus, we never lose our wonder. I want to be wide-eyed and mystified. May we be just like a child staring at the beauty of 
Jesus, we declare that you are matchless, you are perfect, you're glorious, you're beautiful. And you're worthy of all the honor and all the praise. As we fix our eyes on you tonight, as we start out the year with a vision of your glory, with a vision of your worthiness, of the worship of all nations, I pray, God, that you would continue to soften our hearts, open up our eyes, open up our ears, that we'll be people that know their God who knows them as well. Jesus, there is none like you. There's none as worthy, none as powerful, none as perfect, none as good none as merciful, none as glorious as you. We pour out our worship before you tonight. For you are worthy. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. This time we'll transition into a time of interceding for this year that has just begun. As we start out this year, we don't want to just have New Year's resolutions and positive thinking or new goals, but we also want to start bringing this year before the Lord and asking for His mark, for His Holy Spirit, for His presence and His closeness to us this year. So as I lead out in prayer, I ask for you to come into agreement with my prayer and follow it with your own intercession. First topic will be, we'll be praying for this year to be a year marked with the power of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 61.1 says, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. Father, we thank you for the promise and the gift of your spirit. You have anointed us for great things and you don't send us out without the promised gift of your spirit. You have given us everything we need to preach good news to the poor. You've commissioned us to bind up the broken and break free from bondage, those imprisoned in addiction, bondage, fear, and sickness. We go out with the confidence that the Holy Spirit's anointing is on us and that the assignment set before us isn't impossible. You make all things possible, God. We pray for spiritual discernment and sensitivity to your voice as you lead us. We pray against the hold of timidity and fear. May this year be marked with bold steps of faith as we trust you to move. We declare your kingdom come, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. As people go out in the power of the Holy Spirit, advancing your kingdom through their witness and their obedience. Let's pray.
Spirit, God. See the power of May we see your power here on earth. May you bring your kingdom here on earth. We ask for more of you. Holy Spirit, we ask for more of you. Your kingdom come. Your will be done here on earth. We'll see your kingdom come wherever we go. for more of you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we want that we would go out in your power and in your anointing. Holy Spirit, we want open up a path, Lord God, for your people. Holy Spirit, we want more. We ask for more of you, Holy Spirit. Second, we will pray that this would be a year of healing. Father, we confess that we are a people in need of your touch. And even when we feel like we've gotten a firm footing, we repeatedly find that there are different areas in our lives that you bring to the surface in order to bring healing to them. We also lift up those among us who are in need of physical healing. We bind up sickness through the power of the blood of the Lamb shed for our healing. Bring swift healing and wholeness as we look to you for a divine touch. We declare that you are the God who is sovereign over all sickness, over all tragedy, over all situations of hopelessness and brokenness. And we lift up your name as supreme over all circumstances. You are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer, and you're true to your character and true to your name. We declare that you are near to the broken and you bring victory even through seasons of grief and hopelessness. Let's pray.
Third, we will pray for the year 2017 to be a year of double portion. Lord, you are a good father. And we come against a spirit and mindset of lack and poverty. We break off distrust and unbelief and release faith in the place of provision. We claim that we are your children and you are our father. We claim our grace-given inheritance in you as children of God and ask for supernatural faith in your ability to anticipate our needs and bring about abundant provision for every area of need. You know us. You read every thought and are well acquainted with our challenges. And you ask us not to grow anxious in our circumstances, but you ask us to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness and all else will be given to us. Lord, we put you first in our finances and in our life decisions. We ask for wisdom and divine guidance in how we steward every gift given by you, be it our time, be it our talents, be it our finances or our vision. We declare a double portion as our inheritance for this year, and we place our trust in your unfailing love. Let's pray. Lastly, we'll pray for the year 2017 to be a year of extravagant worship. 
Isaiah 61 10 says, I delight greatly in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Jesus, even as we look forward to this year with hope and optimism, we don't base our outlook of joy and victory on our circumstances. We anchor our hope in your unfailing love even through trials and hardships. And we declare that this will be a year filled with extravagant worship. Worship that is costly. Worship that is precious to you. We don't always delight in our circumstances, but we delight greatly in our God. We rejoice in you. You have clothed us with salvation and imputed to us your righteousness. You have adorned us as priests of the Lord and as the bride of Christ. We pray for continual rejoicing in you, whatever the year may bring that the enemy wouldn't have the satisfaction of robbing us of our joy. We break off a grumbling spirit and we come against any disappointment and bitterness that we may feel from the previous year. We declare that you are worthy of all the glory and all the praise and you will receive our worship this year. You are the God that is victorious over every circumstance and we will worship you with all our hearts, all our souls, and all our strength. Let's pray. Father, as we look forward to this year, 
We don't base our prayers and we don't base our worship on what we see around us, but we base all these things in the God that you have promised you are. You're a God who's faithful. You're a God who's good. You're a God who's loving and takes care of his children. You're a God who surprises us with your blessings and your grace upon us. You're a God who has lavished his love upon his children. And we thank you, Father, that this year you're the same yesterday, today, and, to, and, and forever. You're a God who continues to deserve all the glory. You're a God who continues to outdo himself with your goodness. You're a God who continues to surprise us, Lord God, with your blessings and your provision. You're a God that we trust. You're a God that is faithful in all circumstances. And we give you all the glory for all these things. We thank you, God, for the year 2016, where you proved to us that through any and every circumstance, you're a God who continues to carry us through. You're a God who's still faithful to his word. You're a God who's still loving towards his children. And as we lift up this year 2017 to you, we will continue to trust that you are a God who will still advance his kingdom. He will continue to bless his children. And we will see your goodness in the land of the living. We love you, Lord. We praise you. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. You are beautiful in all your ways. Yes, you are beautiful in Jesus, your leadership is perfect in our lives. You are constant, you are unchanging, and you are beautiful. 
And you are worth gazing upon for the rest of our days, not just the rest of our lives, but into eternity. You are worthy of this constant worship. You are worthy, God. And we thank you, Lord, that our feelings and that our circumstances don't change the truth of who you are. That none of that changes your worthiness. So God, we pray that this year, Lord, will be filled with even greater glory. This year, Lord, you would give us an even greater unction to worship you, to glorify you in all things, in all situations, in all seasons, God. And more than ever, Lord, may we be grounded in knowing who you are, God, that we wouldn't be shaken from the truth of who you are, that we would be able to declare your goodness confidently. We thank you, Lord, that you are the one that's formed us in our mother's womb. You are the one that fashioned us in your image. And Lord, we thank you that you are so trustworthy, that we can trust in this God and you who have created us you who knows every detail of, about us. So God, we declare fresh surrender to you tonight. And we thank you in Jesus' name.